Hey, ladles and jelly spoons, gaming aficionados and nostalgia seekers. Welcome to another episode of Friday 5 Minute Facts with me, Pat White Muffin. Coming at you live via videotape from the Orbital Broadcast Bunker, Britain's first and only airborne subterranean studio. We're diving into the world of sin and punishment, a hidden gem from year 2000 that blasted its way onto the N64 with a vengeance. Blessed did you say, the only thing I've blasted is me kettle, it refused to boil properly. <laughs> Sin and Punishment certainly turned up volume on the N64, making its way into the prestigious book 1001 video games you must play before you die. This rail shooter took place on a wild ride through a dystopian future where rebellion and firepower go hand in hand. A dystopian future, eh? Yes, I was at the Dog and Duck last Sunday too. I know exactly what you got up to. Look, I didn't do it in the streets, and the fact that June caught me means nothing. I told her earlier night we were out of low roll. Anyway, back to Sin and Punishment. Did you know that the game's voice acting were entirely in English, complete with Japanese subtitles? Despite never officially releasing in the USA, it's a curious choice and give it an international flair and let players wonder what other secrets the game might hold. English you say, and here was me thinking my ears were deceiving me. Insert joke here about the dog and duck. I don't think we finished this script, you know. Sin and Punishment is a testament to the innovation and boldness of late 90s game design, challenging players with its intense action and compelling narrative. A true cult classic that continues to resonate with video game fans around the globe. Resonate, you say? Well, the only thing resonating around here is me teacup. Perhaps it's time for a refill, methinks. Get bonus. Whether you're reliving glory days of the N64 or discovering them for the first time, Sin and Punishment offers a unique window into the era's creative ambitions. If you've enjoyed this blast from past, please don't forget to subscribe and share your own memories or discoveries in comments down below. Click that like button, share this video with your retro chums and keep those controllers charged and your curiosity for the classics alive. Cheerio, see you soon.